What's up, everybody? I'm Roger Mooking from Heat Seekers and Everyday Exotic on Food Network Canada. Check out bestfan.com. For bestfan.com, I'm Rachel David. Today I'm here with celebrity chef Roger Mooking. His new show, Heat Seekers, premieres on Food Network Canada on September 1st. Now, what Heat Seekers is all about is they travel all around America to try the spiciest, hottest, most delicious food. So we're here in Kensington Market to do the same thing. I want to take you on a little trip because the beauty of Kensington Market here in Toronto is it represents a lot of different cultures. So in this couple blocks here, we can hit a few different things. So let's start with Jamaica because uh, my manager's from Jamaica and if I don't represent you, he'll kill me. <laughs> so we're going to look for some patty. You know, you know Jamaican patties? I've heard of these. I haven't had one before, so I'm You've a little excited. Before. I haven't. You live in Toronto all these years? No, I've lived in Vancouver all these years. Oh, that explains <laughs> it. We're going to get this. They make this thing called cocoa bread, mm -hmm. right? And it's kind of like a, a soft, but kind of dense bread. The patty itself is like in this uh, flaky pastry and the beef and it's spicy on the inside. In case you can't handle the heat, the cocoa bread will kind of like balance it out for you. You know what I mean? This is the patty and cocoa. Oh, with the patty inside a... Uh, some bread. Like some bread, yeah. Yeah. It's like double. So we'll take this out okay. and hit it up and let's see what it's like, all right? Mm. That is good. It's it good. does it's have tasty. quite a... has definitely a spice to it. Yeah? Mm. Okay, now try it without the bread because the bread really, really softens it up for you, you know? Oh, dang. Let's take a bite of that. You want to see me sweat? I want to okay. see you sweat. You got to work for it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That is very good. Okay. Seriously. Let's finish this up. Okay. Let's go Sounds great. Just looking at the sign, I'm looking at a lot of hot chili peppers. I don't know how I feel about this right now. <laughs> can you handle the heat? I didn't actually ask you that. I can handle the heat. Okay. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. I'm a little nervous. Now, a big thing they do in Mexico, too, you'll see they make like a red and a green chili. Classically, the red chili stuff is the hotter stuff, right? Oh, okay. So, like, people will say, do you want red or green? And if they mix it, red and green, you say, I want it Christmas. So that's like a little bit of like old school, you know, stuff, you know? Have you always been able to handle spice? Like, ever since a young age? Yeah, you know what? When I was a kid growing up, my favorite sandwich was white bread, butter, and hot sauce. Yeah, I used to take that to, 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 to elementary school and nobody would want to trade me sandwiches. <laughs> Got that red sauce? Mm. Look at that. Goodness. Oh, this is messy. This is so messy. Ready? That's good, huh? I've got major heat to it. <laughs> what are you taking me on next? Oh, gosh. Okay, okay we're here at House of Spice. Now, I want you to show me some different spices I can use to maybe spice up a mac and cheese or spice up a pizza. Okay. And just give it that extra flavor. Okay, that's cool. I got you. It's not always about the heat, heat, heat all the time because heat can actually just continue to destroy your palate over time. You want to balance out the heat with flavor. And there's many different ways of doing that. So let's hit the back over there. They've got a, they got a wall of spice back here. That's really cool. Sure. You can get a garam masala. Now these masalas are what you'll find in like curry mixes okay. and, and pastes and stuff like that, right? So they mix this, you make your curry and boom, 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 and that's it. Or you can get like curry powders pre-made. Now truth told, in, in India they never call it curry powder. They call it masala. Okay. And every person and family has their own masala mix right. and everybody's family makes the best masala. Cumin is a good way of adding flavor, so it's a very earthy flavor. It has a slight spiciness to it, but it's really um, like a deep, floral, rich flavor. And what is one thing I should take today and put in my cupboard and try making something with? Well, you know, we're heat-seeking, so I would say take some of this Mexican hot chili powder. And I know you've just entered the world of heat, so this is a good introduction. I agree. Thank you, Roger, for joining us here on our Heat Seeking Best Fan episode of Heat Seekers in Kensington Market. And for sure, check out Heat Seekers, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time on Food Network Canada, premieres September 1st.
Thank you so much for joining us. For more exclusive interviews with your favorite artists, check out www.bestfan.com. Signing off, I'm Rachel Davis.